everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I am Dre Gottams, and uh, today we are going to talk to the exiled John Brackenbrook, the son of Captain Brackenbrook, and uh, see if we can get him and his uh, merry band of hunters to come help us uh, fend off the Black Wolves from our troop. Um, we are here in the Hunter's Lodge right now. It's actually got a really nice ambiance. And you heard some of the music playing when we came in. It was actually pretty cool as well. So, um, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, let's get into it. See what he has to say. I guess he has uh, two quests for us. Uh, a little extra never hurts. And an uh, intro into the shadow. Let's see what this intro is. Calder Carbus showed his true colors at last. Okay. I knew, I knew him to be evil-hearted, but my father is too trusting. He does not like the, to think ill of people. His blindness wounded me, but he is a good man. So, to answer your question, yes, I will come to Arch's aid, I and my fellows. I am a hunter and a skilled warrior trained by my father and captain, and I would rather die than sit idly by while foul brigands crash upon decent peoples. Let us see um, what there is to be done before the storm is upon us. While I gather my warriors and my weapons, you should sneak into the Black Wolves Roost and uncover their plan of attack for tonight. Okay, so I got one quest, uh, so we have to kill some brigands and gather information uh, in their Black Wolves Roost, which we actually saw on the map once before, so we kind of know where that is. Uh, we're inside, so we'll have to hop outside to see the outside map. So is that quest, what other quest is there? A little extra never hurts. Uh, oh, cool, we get Lotro points, so I think we're going to do that, because any way to gather the Lotro points we're going to do. Before you go, I want you to make you an offer. You needn't accept this if you want, but we have learned about the Black Wolves. What we have learned about the Black Wolves unnerves me. My father's militia will not fare well against such a massive force of brigands, and I fear that even the few hunters here will not make much of a difference in the fight. Still, it is not in my heart to stand idly by. We may require an edge to win this victory, and I'm willing to offer such an edge, if you wish. Okay, um, so it's like an extra quest, not really needed, but uh, it gives us 10 Lotro points to perform it. Uh, and, okay, I think it's going to be an instance, that's why it's like taking us uh, somewhere else. Okay, the quest is purchased from Lotro store, previous quest, okay. Talk to the quest bestower to complete this deed. You must purchase this quest from the Lotro web store before you can complete it. Rewards. Um, Oh, so I, can, it's, I think it gave us the 10 points to then purchase the quest, and it's just kind of showing us how to do all that. I think we're going to go ahead and decline. I thought it was just giving us 10 Lotro points, but I think it was just giving us, showing us a way to go into the Lotro store um, to buy stuff. Um, so we're just going to actually just do Into the Shadow. Uh, let me see, where's the quest journal? Uh, okay, so L the shadow. Was there another one? Okay. No. Nope. Alright. We're good. Let's go ahead and deal with the Black Wolves Roost. Not get too distracted. They, they, they tried to get us right there. Not on my watch. So, uh, yeah, we'll check out the map. See where the Black Wolves Roost is compared to where we are. Okay, so we can find Black Wolves all in this area. So with what we're seeing here, because we got the quest. And we got it color coded. We can change this color. to go white. It's a little easier to read. Um, orange. So that's kind of cool. Blue. So I guess we'll go back to where it was. And then Black Wolf's Roost is down there. We're up here. So let us be on our way. Just go ahead and level up maybe before. Or just get a little practice in since we have to play in a couple days. Stab the man, stab the marshfly, and get the in there, cool. Let's get a little warm up before the fray. Get down this marshfly. I guess we'll use this game to stretch dark. Another stab, another stab, and another dark. Cool. Easy as pie. And our gambit's staying there. I wonder how long it stays. Okay, so there's a little time limit, a little cooldown, so it looks like it's probably like five seconds or so. Um, something we'll keep in mind. And uh, let's go ahead and get a nice little 
early morning swimming. Take that, Marshfly. No, you didn't do anything to bother us, but we're just trying to get our practice in. Do a couple shield bashes into a defensive strike to increase our block rating. Let's see, how long did that block rating... Oh, can't really tell. I'm kind of curious to see how long the block rating lasts, because um, if it doesn't in last for a while, it's probably better to start off with the shield, so we can kind of have better defenses throughout our fights. Um, I guess we'll have to work on that and see what's like the best fit. Take that. This black wall is a little bit more resilient so far, so we'll take that. Let's see. There you go, clash traits. Oh, we leveled up and now we have clash traits. You can now open up your clash traits panel with a J key and spend what you've earned on points. Nice. Uh, this is the first step to choose a customization, specialization of your class. Come, so each specialization comes with perks and you need set of bonuses. What was that? J. Cool. And we have an update about outfits, which we were talking about earlier, so we don't really need to look at that. Let's go look at our uh, new trait. Okay, so we have three class traits. Um, one and two. Okay, trait trees. So we can have two different sets. <coughs> and then uh, I guess the different colors are four different styles of play. Uh, wield shield and fist to protect allies from harm. So um, I, from the sound, sounds like tanking. Deadly warlike techniques to defeat foes. Okay, DPS. Wheels javelin and clever tactics to harm foes. Harm and hinder foes. Okay, so it looks like ranged attack, standard like melee and defensive tanking. And here we have the points that we're gonna have to use to unlock things. I already have some saved up, but we'll try to um, gather more and not like spend more than we've really kind of naturally gathered. We'll see. Um, so right now, we just probably just need standard defense um, since that's what we're, where we're using. Okay, here. Points, zero points. Oh, okay. So we have the tree, but we don't have the points to use. Uh, no, okay. I guess we're in the reckless. Let's see. Your gambit builders are more powerful. Okay. Oh, cool, cool. So... Using gambits do more damage than just using normal attacks. Increase potency of your bleeds, more bleed damage. Nice. Alright. Let's go. I'll do a little jab here. Kill two brigands. Damn, you see a lot. This must be their lair, for there are many abound. Go ahead. Oh, and it also looks like we got another uh, attack. Shield pier Piercer. Special javelins will pierce the uh, defender's shield and, and bend, making the javelin difficult to remove. Okay, cool. So, another ranged attack lowers their block rating. Let's go ahead and try that. Got a long cooldown, 45 seconds. But, cool. So, this is 45 seconds, this is 18 seconds. We're going to want to use, I guess, this one first normally in fights. So that as we're doing more damage, the cooldown is going to come up. And then we have that one. And I think that's going to make for a better uh, rotation. Cool. Getting some ranged abilities even in our melee stance. So I'm cool with that. And we're just melting through these guys. Here we go. Uh-oh. I see you. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can go around? Ooh. And a wolf howls in the night, and it's gotten really dark. There's a shadow over this place. And I think I saw that a wolf there. Okay, cool. So let's use our stronger attack. Take these down faster. And there you go. Oh, I guess this wolf won't risk. I thought that was like his companion or something. Even though he's butt ugly and evil looking, I guess he's going to leave us alone, which is great. Uh, so uh, this is the Black Wolf's Roost. Cool little ruin or something fortress. And we see something glittering there. Uh, that guy is leaving us alone. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the Black Wolf Plans. Got it. A letter inside the satchel tells that the Black Wolves mean to attack tonight with the help of Angmar. Oh, wow, Angmar. Angmar has a foul name. 
in the histories of the, the Middle Earth. All right, that was easy enough, and cool. Luckily, we were able to escape by her. Uh, let's beat this guy just for getting uh, associated with these ruffians. Take that. Take that. And oh yeah, this is this another one? I think this is a new one because it has a little red thing down there. Another range skill. Also, uh, javelins can pierce body parts or equipment. Uh, this has a 20 second cooldown, okay. Um, and slower target speed. Run, uh, target run speed. Cool. Do that. So now that we're getting more of these ranged. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Whatever has, so, 22 actually. Let's get out of this scary <laughs> area. Uh, so then we'll figure out uh, how we want to set up our attacking things. Sorry if we're taking a little time on these things, but since uh, the Warden was a little more kind of in-depth in its strategy and whatnot, I figured we'll, we'll go ahead and get all this stuff figured out now so we're not just aimlessly pressing things. Um, so we have 16 to 23 damage, 22 to 31. So this is stronger, and it has a, s a lesser cooldown. We're, we're going to go ahead and slide these over. Uh, and then we'll see, once we're figuring out like tanking and stuff, that might change. But for DPS, we're gonna use our ranged attacks. I wonder if we even have this one. I think that one we'll keep here because it's 45 seconds is a really s slow cooldown. Um, so these are gonna refresh a lot faster and might be more in the flow. And then we're gonna go ahead and attack with these. So three, four to five is gonna be our standard um, melee DPSs. But we're gonna start off with our ranges because if, if we're attacking things from farther distance, um, we can try to get some kills before we like get into the fight or kind of put their damage really low before we get into the fight. So I think this is a good setup for us. Now we're swimming back to the Hunter's Lodge. And there's a marsh slide. Let's go ahead and test out this attack. Nice. Test that one. Oh, uh, he blocked it? Oh, that's horrible. I guess if they block our range attacks, then that's a pretty sad day for us. Sad times, sad times. Let's go ahead and loot this uh, filth and go back to John. And run it through the lodge here. Oh, John. You know nothing, John Brackenbrook. <coughs> Sorry, throat's getting a little scratchy. They take a sip of water. Good work, my friend. Good work, Nalen, and fast, too. This will be a great boon, Archit. Now we will be able to counter their efforts with a proper strategy. Um, we can probably take the helm. We don't have a helm yet. Or, what is this? Use to select an uncommon piece of might gear. We don't need might, so easy choice. I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. What an excellent find, Nilan. These folk of Ingmar sound like evil foes, but at least we know that we're up. Well, at least we know what we're up against. The plans also show a map that points to the Old East Path, which is just near here. We all avoid that path save for Alti Spiderbane, a visitor from east of the Misty Mountains. Speak with Alti and learn what he can tell you about the path. We can use the path to our advantage if we manage to successfully scout it. Cool. And we have some dyes for our reward, which is for our clothes. And so there's still a little bit of hurts. So, Alright, um, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and equip. Cool, so our bags are starting to fill up. Imagine if we're starting only with the one bag uh, for like normal free to play players. Like, this would be rough. <laughs> this would be rough. But I mean, we could go and start selling stuff. But I'm not sure if they have vendors uh, in Archer. We'll have to check that out. And it, wait, is this our helm? Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Wow. This looks horrible. <laughs> Hey, whatever you gotta do. I feel like we're just grabbing random bits and pieces <laughs> to outfit us. Um, kind of like how Mary and Pip were outfitted um, in the movies, huh? Uh, this guy has a quest for us. Let's see what's going on here. Um, you've had a long day, my friend, and more dangerous await. You should take some rest. There's a bedroll just, just over there that you can use, and I will wake you up if anything happens. Huh. Use the bedroll in the underslodge to get some rest? 
Okay, intro signs and portents. Okay. The sounds like as the makings of an instance. Um, but let's go ahead and see. Oh, I guess it's not over here. Whoops. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. Old Captain Brackenbrook had best keep his garrison out of the lodge. We're free folk here. Okay, which bedroll? Is it this one that's not lit? Oh, okay, cool. I'm lit up. Sorry, I missed that. The bedroll is more comfortable than you expected, or perhaps you are more tired than you realized. You close your eyes, and before long, you are lost in dreams. Ooh. What's going on here? This is definitely something I don't remember ever doing in the intro. So, this is kind of cool. But it's new. I don't know if they've added it. Villain. Listen to my words. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, young one. Your kind is known to me, but I have beheld hobbits such as you only from afar. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. Hmm. I guess she's taking us somewhere. Lady Galadriel. Oh wow, Castle of Karn Doom. As I have seen lighted windows in the evil city of Karn Doom, the dreadland of Anmar stirs. Shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle Earth. I fear they will again. <sighs> the bridge of Khazadun. My mirror shows me much else I do not understand. All of Middle-earth is endangered by the return of Sauron. We need strength, wisdom, and courage if we are to oppose him. Men, elves, dwarves, hobbits, all three folks must stand together. You are near to wakefulness. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason.
I saw you in my mirror, not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle Earth. Do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle Earth will have need of you. You must not fail them. I'll do my best. That was pretty cool. A lot of doom and gloom, but we thank you for the uh, advice and warnings, Lady Galadriel. That sounds the most curious dream. I never have dreams like that, friend. I wish wish not to have such either. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. Now back to on to what we were doing. Definitely a cool little um, break from what was happening, though. Like kind of very cinematic looks and kind of classic moments from the stories. Egmar looks scary indeed. Well met, friend. Hey, I know all about the old East Path. There are spiders everywhere. When you kill one, another one takes its place. If we are to make use of such a path at all, we should find our way through and ensure that it is still blocked at the walls of Archit. The spiders will do some work for us against the Black Wolves, and what the spiders don't deal with, we shall come from come from afore and behind uh, with our axes and blades, and we will fall upon them like a mighty cave coming down. Okay, defeat spiders in the old path. See if the wall is still intact. Oh, let us go. All right, so the Moria um, looks really cool. There's definitely like a strong sense of mood and atmosphere in there. Can't wait for us to get to Moria. And um, yeah, we'll see Angmar looks scary and depressing, but you know we're gonna do what we have to do. Let's go ahead and kill this hatchling here. So a couple, ah, oh, they blocked it again. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. I think they're gonna, our ranged attacks will get blocked more often than other uh, attacks, so. Um, yeah, hopefully we can find ways to lessen their blocking abilities or to flat out just increase our accuracy. There we go, spiders look good. Okay, this guy's different and brood ambusher. Let's go ahead and throw that one there. A little stab there, let's go ahead and use the gambit. Oh, uh, we didn't get the gambit off. Cool, it's still safe. Let's see if we can get there in time. Uh, get there in time. Yes, we got it off. Just small victories. Just the small victories. That, that that that's all it is. Let's go ahead and keep working. Let's do a shield bash. Let's do a shield bash and then quick thrust. Oh, yeah, that. What about the way um, to clear our gambit log? If we want to like get to another ability faster. Um, Oh yeah, I think that does, right? You can use this attack, it'll clear it, but it'll just do like a basic. Yeah, no problem. Uh, ooh, ambusher. Try to roll up and he was hiding in the cut, as I said. The shield bash, okay, this is pre oh. preserve, or persevere. Reading is fun. Persevere, what does persevere do? Okay, increases block. Oh, and we heal, interesting. Okay, in that case, let's go ahead and switch those around. We'll try something. Do shield bash, thrust, persevere, and then we should have heals coming. Okay, yeah, five. It's not a lot, but it's something. Um, so, okay, cool. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and put shield bash there first. Um, kind of liking this for a couple reasons. One, it sets, sets up our um, defenses more with the uh, like defensive uh, gambit that increases our block rating, and then if we also have one that's doing heals, um, that just seems better all the way around. Uh, these guys aren't going to attack us if we don't want to fight them. There are loads of spiders here. Let's go ahead and get some more practice in. Uh, Shield bash, the strike, person, and now we have a heal going, and then we start more attacking. First of your stance? Huh. Actually, that's something. Okay, let's check that out. Shield bash, that persevere. 
Oh, we can do it twice. Does it? Huh. Okay. So then I can keep doing uh, the game. It doesn't like just reset. Maybe some of them reset, some of them stack. If that stacks, then that's really good. Especially if you get multiple sort of uh, hots or heal over times. Um, okay, okay. So here, Archer East Gate. There is a dead Black Wolf Scout. Ha 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 ha. You thought this would be easy? It's pretty gruesome. Um, that's what they get. I'm trying to match with Archit. And I guess we'll go let him know that uh, the path is heavily guarded. It's all to the good for us. Can we go through this web here? Can we go through Ah! For big fat hobbitses, no measly spider webs are going to stop us. Unless it's Shelob's spider web. Oh, hey, fellow hobbit running through. Should tell him, hey, there's no need to go back there. It's all blocked off. There's lots of spiders. You're welcome. Saved you some time. While we're running, let's go ahead and get a little range kill. Oh. Stone sticks. Sticks and stones will hurt those bones. Um, cool. Alright, so I guess we don't tell Alti. We're going to go back and tell John. And let him know. The wall is safe. It will hold the whites and the white walkers won't get through. A dead end will surely work in our favor. The brigands will be slowed and they will have the spiders at their heels and the hunters will come from behind while the spiders attack at the head. Perfect. I will go to Archit to rally them and ready them for the storm that awaits them tonight. And we get to choose some die. Um, I guess see I'm a warden. I'm going to go with, I guess, rust? Go with like kind of like a goldish sort of look. That's the closest thing we have right now. Nice. Quickly, Calder Cobb is making his move against Archit, and Wicked Men of Angmar are lending him and the Black Wolf strength. We must go to town's defense at once. Return to me when you are prepared. Okay, so. Let's see. Accept. You have just received the final quest in the Introduction Quest series. If you have any other quests underway, you should, uh, should complete them now. Okay. Um, I think we've done most of the quests. You have everything, nothing to equip right now. Um, there's that one where they just wanted us to go to the Lotro store and like learn how to use all that, but we don't need to do that. So I think we are good to uh, start with, I guess, the assault on Archit. Storm upon us. Are you ready to go? Very well. John Brackenbrook and his hunters have reached the outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. Wow. Nice visuals. Oh, uh oh. Taking shots. Uh oh, it's not good. They have spotted us. We, we, we have now. no time to lose. Already the town burns. We have only a short time to rest here before they see that we have broken through the east wall. I fear we are less than safe at the moment. Oh, we must Ned? save Ned! No, not Ned! Ned and John and all the Song of Ice and Fire references. Oh wait, oh, I had the attack, sorry. Whoops, let's go in there. I'm over here talking, looking around, and he's taking his hit. Sorry, John. Yes. Yes, well done. Okay. Little uh, pro tip. Kill things, don't read while your quest mate is dying. Uh, Amdir, Amdir's close by. He escaped the slaughter of the badger. You have to help him defend the badger. The, those black wolves want the hobbit and the captain. I, I saw something in the flames. Go after them. You must save them. Our chat must still be saved. Calder Cobbs and Otto's treachery were just the beginning of this battle, I fear. We must find a way to the Mad Badger Inn. Peg has left us a way into the marketplace. Perhaps there is a way through there. Follow me. Well, turn. Thanks. 
Let's make sure that the marketplace is okay. Looks like it's blocked off. There are more up ahead. By the screen. Okay. Okay. So that and uh, that screen that's just our gambit. That's not good. Do a little couple of jobs. Hey. We must find my father before it's too late. The marketplace is safe for now, but we must press on. If we tarry too long, we'll lose all of Archit. We must find another way into the center of the town. We should secure the crafters area. Come. Wow. The whole city's burning. Those black-hearted fiends have played ways. Look! Look Otley is ahead! All must not be lost! Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? A group of black wolves entered that building yonder not long ago, John. Together we can surely take them and re this area. Oh, here they come. Okay. Shield bashes. Our defense. Let's get that shout going. Grab the attention. Throw a couple of blades there. Well done, well done. What's next? Uh, Although the mad area. badger burns, I still hold out hope. You fared well, my friend, but all might not might be lost nonetheless. We have protected the market square and the crafters area. Already the mad badger burns. Perhaps my father is still alive, but I hold little hope. Follow Alti and me. We will defend what is left of the town to death if we must. Okay. Go on. Almost there, my friend. My father will still be alive. I know it. Let us hope. There, there he is. Father! I knew you would survive. I'm alive, son, but I grow weary from the fight. Does Archer fall now? I have been approved. This is not the time for blame. We must look only to defending those who count on us for safety. I agree. I will guard the hobbits and the injured man. Can you keep the attackers at bay? They approach! Defend us! Nice. We've reached Captain Bracken. Go. 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 go shield bash. More come. Do another shield bash. Defensive strike. Both hurt. Shield bash and the boots. Go. Oh. Take that. Take that. No more time uh -oh. for games. We come for the ranger. Wow, this is serious. I've always been blind where I'm concerned, Captain Liver Hats. You begin to understand me. Wow. All I know is that you betrayed your home and your people. You should be ashamed. Enough talk. I'm there now a servant of Mordor. Come, Dunaday. Yes, master. Damn, dear. Don't listen to him. No! Call the cop. Finish what you came to do. Evil. Evil. I will have the power in our chip now, Brackenbrook. Father! Wow. No! Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, we're gonna whoop, whoop his ass now. Hit that shield. Hit that shield. Oh wow, that was easy, man. You're a little wimp for all that evilness that you've done. What misery has befallen us? My father day. was right to trust no one. Sad, sad day. Sad day. Archer is burned, my father is dead, and the ranger was taken by evil men. If men they can be called. Now, all we can do is wait for the flames to die down, then with luck, we may begin to rebuild our poor town. Alright, well we completed that. No place for a hobbit. Let us see that you and the others get safe backwards to the Shire. Aww. With the Black Wolves' grip on Archit broken, the hobbits hurry home to the Shire, eager to return to their simple, peaceful lives. But not all is as peaceful as it seems. Trouble stir at the bounds, and a shadow of fear is left in the wake of the Nazgul.
Alright, wow, that was pretty intense. Especially for humble little hobbit like us. And at least we we're back in the Shire, where we are meant to be. You know, I just kind of feel like the peacefulness of it all, uh, like of it all, huh? as if like nothing really happened. Um, oh, look, there's Franbo, our friendly uh, neighbor, Franbo. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that was intense. Let's see if there's anything in our bags that's new. Nope. Okay, we're looking good here. Um, yeah, that was a pretty wild fight. The fall of Archit. Captain Brackenbrook, sad times, and there's a shadow creeping across the lands, but we're going to have to grow ourselves and see that we can um, find a way to lend our spear and shield um, to the cause. Um, we're in the Shire now, we're in uh, Little Delving. Let's see, where's Little Delving? Uh, okay, Little Delving's over there. We got Mikael Delving, Hobbiton, kind of the center of, of it all. Makes sense. And nice! Ah, we're in the Shire! Finally, finally. Okay, well I think we're gonna end it there. Um, there's a lot to think on, and we kinda have like, our adventure to begin. So, um, I thank you guys all for being here with me through this fight. We will continue this again next time. Uh, I have been Drake Adams, and I will see you soon. Take care. <laughs>